Hello, boys and girls. Welcome back to Mr. Pui's English class. Today, we are going to learn about omelet. Today's wheels are: I can tell my friends what is on my omelet, and also I can tick the correct ingredients. Previous lesson, we already known that omelet is actually a countable noun. Means you can actually count the omelet, one omelet and two omelets. Now today we are going to take a look at what is inside the omelet. The first ingredient in our omelet is cheese. Cheese are uncountable nouns. Means we cannot count cheese. So if we want to ask if someone has cheese in the omelet, we can say like this. Is there any cheese in your omelet? Is there any cheese in your omelet? Repeat after me. Is there any cheese in your omelet? So putting together, it will sound like this. Is there any cheese in your omelet? If there is, you can say, "Yes, there is." If there isn't, no, we will say, "No, there isn't." So let me ask you: Is there any cheese in your omelet? Look here. Is there any cheese here? The answer is, "Yes, there is." Very good. Let's take a look at the second ingredient. We have the tomatoes. Tomatoes. Yes, tomatoes are actually countable nouns. Means you can count one tomatoes, two tomatoes, three tomatoes. So if we can count, we can use. Are there any tomatoes in your omelet? Because the tomatoes is more than one, we have more tomatoes here, so we can say, "Are there any tomatoes in your omelet?" Repeat after me: Are there any tomatoes in your omelet? If there is, you can say, "Yes, they are." If no, you can say no. There aren't. So let me ask you: Are there any tomatoes in your omelet? Yes. Correct. There are tomatoes in our omelet. Let's take a look at the next ingredient: onions. Onions. Onions are also countable nouns. Means you can count one, two, three. So we can say, "Are there any onions in your omelet?" Are there any onions in your omelet? If they are, you can say, "Yes, they are." If they aren't, you say, "No." There aren't. Mr. Pui wants to ask you: Are there any onions in your omelet? Let's check the answer. Correct. There are onions in our omelet. Let's move on to the next one. Peppers. Peppers. Are peppers countable? We can see one, two, three, four, five. Yes, we can count the peppers. So peppers are countable, and it is more than one. We are using. Are there any peppers in your omelet? Are there? Any peppers in your omelet? If they are, you can say yes. They are. 
If they aren't, you can say, no, they aren't. So, are there any peppers in your omelette now? Correct. There are. There are peppers in your omelette. Now, we are going to make our own omelette. This is the ingredient list you have. You are going to tick the ingredients you want on your omelette. You will have sausages, onions, cheese, mushrooms, potatoes, chicken, peppers, and ketchup. If you want to add other ingredients, you can put it here. You do one, and another form is for your friend or your partner. I'll give you five minutes to do this. You can post this video. Welcome back to Mr. Pui's class. I believe you have done your ingredients list. Now, ask your friend what do you want in your omelette and you are going to take the ingredients that he or she wants. Using the ingredient list, you are going to make the omelette for your friends. Cut the pieces out and put it on the omelette. Happy trying and goodbye. Alright boys and girls, that's all for today. Thank you for joining me at Mr. Pui's English class. See you again! If you like Mr. Pui's English class video, please click like here and also click on the subscribe button. Bye!